Yeah. I hope what you can see in this is that when you give yourself a limited set of rules and you explore awareness and proprioception, it can bring out certain things that might get lost or overshadowed when you do something more intense like wrestling or jujitsu or judo. I have a similar analogy, a similar situation here with Tai Chi push hands. So let's watch this. So this is Jan. He's a Tai Chi champion. And that guy who's getting pushed is Jason. Jason's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Barrett Yoshida. So this is fixed stepped push hands. So you can't move your feet. And with these types of limitations, you also can't grab the head. You can't grab the legs. What you're going to start becoming aware of is certain parts of the body that will make this push hands easier or harder. So what you can see is despite being a black belt, but not having as much experience in this rule set, Jason might not be as aware of his body's connection in this type of stance. Also, how wide his feet are apart will affect his center of gravity. Also, his hip position, how low, how high his hips are. So these are all things he's going to learn that will help him in his jiu-jitsu or his MMA. So here's me with Jan. And again, I don't do push hands, right? I mean, we had that really funny one video, but this is more kind of just actual pushing and not just being pushed. So I pull him into my guard, which I would have lost under these rules, but it's pretty funny, the little jujitsu I do. So this one's pretty cool. My hip position wasn't in the right place and Jan just pushes me. So from this, I learned very quickly. You see, now I think about my hip position immediately. I'm not gonna let that happen to me again. So he's gonna off balance me another way, but he's not gonna push me again. Again, I butterfly hook him. <laughs> so Jiu Jitsu Jerry, imagine someone who's never had grappling experience or someone who's never had any type of fight experience and you put them in a Jiu Jitsu class or a Judo class or a wrestling class. It's gonna be really hard for them to grasp all that information at once. And that's what this Tai Chi push hands is so good at. The fixed step very quickly because of the limited rule set, you start understanding your hip position matters so much. I went around the neighborhood, some of my neighbors, I just started doing this kind of stuff with them and big guys too initially i was pushing them and then i just told them here's a secret i'm gonna give you the secret you just lower your hips match my hips if not be lower than me and all these big guys started beating me it's pretty funny there's nothing sacred nothing woo, -woo about it it's literally you get your body awareness you understand and you apply it within this rule set. And that's what this Tai Chi push hands experience really taught me. There's many ways to teach people. And I think this is a very effective way to teach people certain things about the body and force. So let's take this fixed step Tai Chi push hands and let's think about Aikido. How can we connect to each other's center? How can we also connect with intention that maybe is benevolent? <laughs> so in Tai Chi rules, we both would have been at a draw because I pulled them out too. But again, we're not doing Tai Chi. We're trying to use that exercise to explore different things about the human body. So shout out to Jan, by the way, for the push hands lesson. So here, <laughs> that's pretty funny. So we both <laughs> lost that. <laughs> Pay attention basically to how our bodies change with intention. I am definitely pushing against him. Notice. This is kind of a more giving energy Alex is giving me, right? From his center to his arm to my spine. It's a friendly, it's almost like, hey, just take my vibe. Just take my vibe. See how it's hard for me to resist it? So instead of resisting it, why not just give? Give a little back. So that's what I'm playing around with here. See, I'm just giving, 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 give it back. And then Alex explained that he felt the force in his spine, which meant I connected to his center. There's many people who say Tai Chi is a good proprioception exercise. Proprioception is basically knowing where your body is, knowing the position of the various limbs. And I tend to agree with that. And I think Aikido in a similar way can teach you a lot about proprioception too. Besides that, another analogy I would give for connection is when you successfully connect to someone, it's almost like you're pushing up against a wall now. Because again, it's their center of mass, their center of gravity. It's gonna feel different than if you don't connect with them. And if you guys experiment with this, if you successfully connect to their center, which a lot of times it's the spine, but it's not always their spine, because again, the center of mass shifts depending on what position you're in. You're gonna feel like, oh wow, there's like a wall here. Wow, but I can push the wall down. 